Hey Jeff, what are you doing? Watching Showgirls on TNT. Oh, that's a nice way to pass the time. You ever been to a strip club? No, you? I fixed an ice machine at one one time. Were there naked girls there? Yeah, but it was like 2 in the afternoon, so they were just sort of sitting around bored like they were waiting at the DMV. They were DMV boobs. Very unenthusiastic boobs. <laughs> I've never agreed with the concept of a strip club. A man should have to work to gain access to boobs. Yeah, I wanted to take them wherever I could get them. I thought you were better than that. No, I'm not. <laughs> you see, boobs are a rarity in the wild. You have to take every opportunity to spot one as if it was your last. A rarity in the wild. Yeah, I guess they are. So hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to my aunt's funeral. I'm making a salad for it right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. She wasn't that great. <laughs> the worst part is I have to speak because people think we had a special bond. Hey, let me ask you this. Is anybody at the uh, funeral going to have Parkinson's? <laughs> wow, you know, that's really hard to anticipate. <laughs> because I had to speak at my best friend Jay's wedding because I was the best man. Yeah. And, this, uh, and his great aunt was sitting at the front table with Parkinson's. And the whole time I'm giving my toast, she was shaking her head like, no, 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 no. And she had this disgusted look on her face. But she has Parkinson's. Yeah, but see, I think she exaggerated the Parkinson's. <laughs> just to disagree with me, to screw with me. That's diabolical. So midway through the speech, I started looking at her, nodding my head up and down like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And what did people do? Well, eventually the mic was taken from me. <laughs> uh, my next door neighbor growing up was an old lady with Parkinson's. Oh yeah? Yeah, but she had the good kind. She nodded up and down. <laughs> A much more agreeable Parkinson's than the side to side. <laughs> and get this. She had a shut-in son that lived with her who was rumored to be 12,000 pounds. No way, like the people they show on Maury Povich? Yeah, exactly. Did you ever see him? Well, that's the thing. I was walking from school one day, and the bedroom window was open in their house, so I thought, here's my chance. Sure. So I looked in, and there he was, naked in bed, with just a white sheet covering him. Well, how fat was he? Not fat enough. What do you mean, not fat enough? He weighed maybe 375, 400 pounds. 375, 400 pounds? That's like the fat guy in the office with the dude wearing a big dog t-shirt at Little League games. I know! He was totally taken. 12,000 pound shut-in lifestyle. So guess what I did? What? I confronted my neighbor lady about it. What, about her son not being fat enough? Yeah, about her son not being fat enough. He was totally taking advantage of her. And did she fully grasp the depth of what you were saying? I don't know. That's the thing. She had the agreeable Parkinson's. Ah, yes. 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 Yeah, she just kept nodding up and down. Yes. Anyway, I did my part. Hey, uh, listen, after the funeral, do you want to get some food? Are you asking me out after I go to a family funeral? Well, I figure after the funeral, you might be emotionally vulnerable, and I, have, I would have a better chance. <laughs> you think so? You've got a dead aunt. People are mourning. Anything I say is going to seem funny. I do very well at post-funeral dates. <laughs> I'll think about it. Good. And when you're, thinking about, when you're thinking about that, think about this. A 1,200-pounder with Parkinson's. It would be like a massive blur of jiggliness. They'd probably lose weight from all the shaking. That's funny. That is very funny. <laughs> Good night, Jack. Night, Kitty.